Hey there, hope you're having a great holiday season, gang. This is Kawaii Fibo with another FGO video, and it's time to talk about a servant that everyone is eligible to get. That is the four star saber, this year's Santa, drawn by the almighty god of fate art Paco themselves. Right, it is Santa Karna. We're going to be going over the best allies, craft essences, and command codes to ensure that Santa is able to give every man, woman, child, whoever out there, the magnificent gift of these hands. Hopefully, this video helps you out, and if it does, be sure to go ahead, like, and subscribe. Karna comes soundly equipped with two quick one arts and two buster cards with a single target quick noble phantasm that hits an astonishing eight times. As you can see from his stats, his stats are fairly well rounded in all honesty and this is something I really really like to see in a freebie servant. Someone who's just solidly good and somebody who might be lacking this character in their arsenal well they're going to be able to pick up somebody with some fairly dang good stats that doesn't really need a specific niche to do their job well also all of the other hallmarks of a saber are here such as the average star absorption and the np per hit is actually pretty dang solid too with the four hits on that quick card and that extra arts card your karna off of crits is probably going to be able to honestly refund his noble phantasm especially with how hard it is going to be hitting karna's first skill is footwork santa rank a this gives him three instances of increasing both his quick and buster card effectiveness though you have to use those cards within three turns of this skill activating it still grants a pretty fantastic 20 to 30 percent boost Karna also gets a massive boost to his critical strength. You get a 30 to 50% increase for the next three turns off of that. It would be really, really nice if Karna had some way to maybe draw some critical stars to himself. Then maybe we would consider, you know, leveling this skill first so we could use it as a main focus of damage. But wait, all of those things are actually true. Yeah, level this skill first. And that skill that increases Karna's Star Gather is Flash Fist Rank A. This is his main defensive option, providing him two instances of evade, and he gets a 300 to 500% critical Star Gather rate boost, which is gonna be fairly dang effective. This also increases Karna's own quick card critical strength by 50 to 100% for one turn. So if you're using this skill offensively, you're gonna wanna use it when that quick deck is stacked. We are still going to go ahead and max this skill last just because we want something to help us with our little bit of margin of error when it comes to looping Karna's Noble Phantasm, and that is going to be based off of the third skill. Plus, this skill is already pretty beefed up as it is. You're just going to continually make it better. Still, Karna is one of those servants where you'll probably want to get him 10-10-10 if you want to use him frequently. And Karna's final skill is the Hero of Benefaction Holy Knight rank EX. This grants him a 10 to 20% NP gauge charge and also applies debuff immunity to the ally this is targeted with three times for three turns. Karna can use this on an ally to increase their Noble Phantasm, but more often than not, he is going to use it on himself. We are going to want to max this skill second so we can get a solid 20% Noble Phantasm charge off of it, reduce any margin of error when it comes to Karna being able or unable to use his Noble Phantasm. When it comes to Karna's append skills, we're going to go with Load Magical Energy. A starting 10 to 20% is good on just about any servant in the game. And if you go ahead and combine that with a maxed out third skill, that's a 40% Noble Phantasm charge you can get right away. Considering the influx of craft essences we're getting with 60% Noble Phantasm charge, or even 50% and then just a little boost from an ally, odds are you can turn one Noble Phantasm with Karna fairly easily with some investment. And now we get to Karna's Noble Phantasm, winning Arcaputra rank A. This deals 1200 to 2000% damage to a single enemy, completely removing their guts. And the guts removal activates before damage is dealt. So if we chuck a little sure hit on here, we finally have an absolute bane of our good 
boy three star coup. Karna, Karna ain't having none of that. Now, this also has an overcharge effect of increasing the quick card effectiveness of Karna's cards by a 20 to 40% increase. This activates before damage is dealt. So you're going to see that reflected in the damage Karna does, making this a very strong, very potent Noble Phantasm, especially considering that's a free Noble Phantasm 5 with Karna being an event servant. This might kind of seem like a little bit of a wet noodle at NP1, but if you get Karna all the way to five, you're gonna see some raw damage. So who do we pair Karna with in order to maximize his effectiveness? Well, he's a quick servant. So Skahawk Scotty, super duper easy pick. She can grant him quite a bit of quick card effectiveness and quick critical damage, and she can also help him charge his noble phantasm, as well as reduce enemy defense. It's all great. It's all stuff Karna wants to see. However, you might not have a Skahawk Scotty, or you also might you know, want to use somebody different in your arsenal. Either of these things are fine options. And of course, I want to mention a couple of servants that can help you do just that. Let's take a look at a few of them right now. My first recommendation for another ally would be Zhang Zhao. And again, it is not just because I am a huge Three Kingdoms fan. Zhang Zhao can provide quick card effectiveness, increase Karna's star gather rate, increase Karna's critical strength, clear debuffs, and on the off chance that he is able to turn the field into a forest with his third skill, well, he can go ahead and use his Noble Phantasm and decrease the quick resist of all enemies by 20% for three turns. And you can go ahead and pair this with Karna's Noble Phantasm as well, increasing the overcharge bonus for Karna's Noble Phantasm if you follow up with it. The blue sky is truly dead, and the yellow sky must now rise. My next recommendation is for one of the best four stars in the entire game, Wu Zeshan. Wu Zeshan is already an excellent budget quick supporter providing an attack boost as well as quick card effectiveness. And her recent rank up is a pretty substantial defense reduction and buff nullification on an enemy as well. Plus that noble phantasm, that boost is, that she has. <laughs> Oh my gosh, gang, even more potential for buff removal. She just absolutely strips the enemy of everything they need to succeed. And she has yet another buff still in the pipeline, able to increase all allies' noble phantasm gauge by a flat 10% while also granting a critical strength boost. If you have not invested in your Wu Zeshan's skills, do so now because she is a phenomenal ally to have on your team. Of course, with Karna being a quick slash buster servant, we gotta go ahead and give some props to Osakabe Hime. Of course, she has that phenomenal ability now to increase quick and buster card effectiveness on overcharge with her noble phantasm. But she can also, of course, provide Karna with some other extra benefits. Star drop rate, noble phantasm gauge, and a critical strength boost are all things that we might like to see with Karna on our team. And the buff strip with Castle Apparition A++ doesn't hurt either. And for my final recommendation, I want to recommend Sen no Riku, a Berserker who will be showing up on NA in the future. She has a lot of pretty dang sick bonuses to offer Karna or even herself if you want to be your main damage dealer. But let's talk about her interactions with Karna because this is Karna's video. She can provide a quick card effectiveness boost, an NP gain boost, and some critical stars for Karna. She can increase Karna's Noble Phantasm gauge, give him invincibility, which he lacks, and increases Noble Phantasm overcharge level by two. That's right, she's just holding a devilish Bodhisattva for some reason. That's pretty dang effective. And of course, she's just got your general, I am a berserker, I do monstrous amounts of damage herself. But those two skills are pretty dang good boons for Karna and would make her worth slotting in on your team, even if you only plan to just pop those skills and then swap her out for somebody else. Can still be very helpful. Next, let's talk craft essences. Karna's Noble Phantasm is potent. It is so got dang powerful that we kind of want to use it as soon as possible because the damage just continues to go up and up from there. So 
K-Scope, I've just, I've got to recommend it because that turn one hit has just been incredible for me in this event and it would be incredible for you as well. You don't even need a max limit broken one because uh, Karna can get the rest of that charge on his own. If you happen to have a way to immediately boost Karna with supporters, then the Black Grail of course deserves special mention. I know I talk up this CE a lot, but the damage boost is incredible and on top of that, Karna being an easy NP5 is an astonishing boss slaying servant because of that. So boosting that damage is going to definitely help. If you're looking for an excellent freebie option, we talked a lot recently on stream about traces of Christmas's past and how good that was. That remains true here. This grants quick card effectiveness, NP gain, and a starting NP gauge, and should slot in nicely as a budget CE on Karna. What's another good budget CE on Karna? Well, actually, Cherry Icicle is very, very good, and you have definitely seen this in Karna's event right now. This grants quick card effectiveness, Noble Phantasm damage, and Noble Phantasm gauge. I would say between Traces of Christmas Pass and Cherry Icicle, eh, it's kind of a toss-up. Really, whatever you would prefer, whether you need more MP damage from your support or MP gain, is really up to you. But both of these CEs, excellent budget options. And now we get to command codes. Man, Karna has a lot of power in his Noble Phantasm. Isn't that just great? You might think I'd be recommending Noble Phantasm damage command codes for you. Well, no, honestly, not really. Um, Karna's already got a ton of power packed into his Noble Phantasm and doesn't necessarily need that extra boost in order to become any stronger. We're going to want to, in just general good practice, keep those for other servants that might need the Noble Phantasm boost more. What Karna would like to see for the rest of his cards is extra critical damage. Critical damage is going to be absolutely integral in seeing Karna just pull as much damage out of those quick and buster cards as he possibly can. So looking at critical damage command codes, what are some of the best? Well, non-existent Phantasmal Horse would slot in very well on that quick card, granting Karna an extra bit of damage, a solid 20% critical damage boost. You can also go ahead and give him something like Nobu Sengumi for a solid extra 50%. 15% boost, but of course we've got other solid options when it comes to critical damage, Heavenly Child of Kurama being another one of them. This can go on any card and grants you a 20% critical damage boost. Now, you're going to want to slot critical damage stuff on Karna's quick and buster cards respectively. If you're low on command codes in general, you can always sub in code burst. Put your most damaging ones on Karna's quick cards over his buster cards because of his ability to increase his quick critical damage. That's where we're going to want those to go. Also, for a lot of servants, I know people like to put Stargather on their arts cards to help with Noble Phantasm generation. Please avoid that on Karna. That is the last place that we want to see those stars go. So instead, go ahead and maybe consider something like some sort of NP gain command code. That can always be a pretty solid option or just something like Code Cure to help cleanse Karna of any negative effects. Overall, gang, Karn is incredible. Absolutely incredible. He is definitely a Christmas gift to us, the players. Not only do we get more incredible Paco art of one of the most beloved servants in the entire game, but his kit's good. His kit's good. His kit's good, everyone. I don't freaking believe it. On top of that, the CE that comes with his event works super well on him. If you are somebody who is lacking a saber, this is La Sengle coming to you with a silver platter and being like, here you go, here's your saber. Take your saber and enjoy him to the fullest. Santa Karna cannot get enough praise from me. Man is delightful. 
please make sure you get him during this event. But of course, I want to know what you all think, so let me know your thoughts on Santa Karna down in the comment section below. Let me know if there are any allies, craft essences, or command codes that you think I might have missed, and let me know who your favorite Santa servant is in FGO. Is it Karna? Is it somebody we got in the past? Or is it someone who's yet to be? Go ahead and let us know down below. If you guys want to talk more fake grand order, of course, I got a link down below in the comments to my Discord server that is always open. I want to give a big thanks and a happy holidays to everybody on my Patreon who supported me, everyone on my Twitch who has subscribed and followed and supported me, and of course, everybody here on YouTube who has followed, supported me, super chatted, whatever. Thank you so much. I hope you have an incredible holiday season, or if you're watching this during some other time of some other year, an incredible whatever the hell season it is. Anyways, gang, that's it for me, Kawaii 5 I hope you all have a phenomenal day. I'll see y'all in the next one.